Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Hello everyone and welcome to your English class. In our lesson today, we will start with the expansion part for the units 1 to 4. Uh, the lesson today is the language review in your books, page 62 and 63. All you need for the lesson today is your books, page 62 and 63, a sheet of paper and a pen to take down your notes. So let's get started. By the end of today's lesson, you will be able to revise the present perfect tense. Also, you will be able to answer some questions uh, in, the uh, in the present progressive tense. And you will be able to scan a text for specific information. So it's about the present perfect and the reading part. Let's look into our friend in here whose name is Adnan Ali. Adnan Ali is 25 years old. He will tell us that I have studied journalism. Also, I have made three job interviews. Also, I have been working in media since 2007. And I have been looking for a job for three months. You notice here, we're having the present perfect simple, have studied, have made. And the present perfect, progressive tense, because we're having the time since 2017 and I have been looking for a job for three months. So once, we, once we ha we're having the time as mentioned and we are speaking about how long we're going to use the present perfect progressive. So the present perfect simple, an action that happened in the past as if you are trying to remember an experience. So we will start with the pronoun he, she, et, they, you, we, or I, followed for, for the perfect tense, we will use has or have, followed by the verb number two. I am trying to remember experience. So, people have tried to build many walking robots. So, here, people have tried, have tried many times, I'm counting numbers. We have done one project, or let's say three to four projects, have done. I'm counting the numbers in here. So counting numbers, how many? Present perfect, simple tense. How about the present perfect progressive tense? Speaking about, the focus is on the time this time. So we'll start with the, with the pronoun, the he, she, et, the, you, we, or I. Perfect, so has or have. Then I need a progressive tense, so been, verb, ing. The ing is for the progressive and the perfect tense, so I will use has or have. Okay? She has been working since 2010. So, 2010, how long for this? Has been doing. And also, we have been learning online for five weeks have been learning. So, we are focusing here is on the, ha the length, the duration. Okay, so we are having the present perfect simple and the present perfect progressive. The present perfect simple is to answer a question of how many. However, the present perfect progressive to answer a question of how long. Also, the present perfect simple, the answer is going to be a number one project, two projects, and the progressive is to that the answer will be a time or a duration since, let's say, 2010 for 10 years. So, the examples here, how long have you been reading that book? Shahanan has been reading the book for two hours. Notice, the focus is on the time. How long have you been playing football? How long? Saeed has been playing football since he was 10. The focus is on the time or the duration. How about the simple? How many pages have you read? Many. She has read 30 pages. The 30 is not time, it's the number. How many teams have you played for? The number of teams she ha he has played for three different teams. So check the number. Is it the number itself, quantity, or it is about the time or the duration, and you can make your own decision. 
Let's look into here, page 62, exercise A. Ask questions about the situation. You is the present perfect progressive. Have you been waiting? Have you been waiting for the bus a long time? Then they will answer, we have been waiting for 30 minutes. You notice here, here we're having 30 minutes, which is the time we have been waiting. Then someone is eating chocolate. Have you been eating chocolate? Then I have been eating chocolate all day, all day, the time in here. One more, she's cleaning the house. Have you been cleaning the house? She will answer, I have been cleaning the house for an hour. I focus here on the duration of time, how long? They are skiing in here. Have you been skiing? They will tell, they have been skiing for three years. The duration is three years. Also, he's tired because he was running. Has he been running? The answer, he has been running for two hours. That's why he's tired. Sleeping? Has he been sleeping? The answer, he has been sleeping for five hours. So here our focus is on the time. So all of them are in the present perfect progressive tense. The same page, exercise B, page 62. Complete the sentences with the words in parentheses, the verb, use the present perfect progressive or the present perfect simple of the verb. Someone steal my car. The time is not mentioned in here. So we will say, someone has stolen my car. I left it here and it is gone. So someone has stolen. He did it in the past and it is only one car. I live in this apartment since I moved here two years ago. Notice the time. I have been living. Notice the how long? How long you wait in a line? For two hours maybe or, or one hour. Have you, how long have you been waiting? I have been waiting here for one hour. The same, I feel really tired. I not sleep well for several nights, many nights. I haven't slept. I'm counting one, two, three nights. I haven't slept. There is a wonderful smell in here. You use my perfume? Experience. Have you used my perfume? Have you done that? The friends paint the room for two days. Time. So have been painting, but they only finish one wall, counting the number, only one. They have only painted one wall. Notice the progressive ing, time, and the simple with the ed when we are speaking here about, uh, uh, about the number. Exercise C, complete the questions on the same page, page 62. To a pilot about his career. Let's try to ask a pilot about his own career. We will use the present perfect simple and progressive. How long and how many? How many countries have you visited? How many countries, many countries have you visited? I have visited three, 10, 20 countries. How long have you been flying? He has been flying for maybe 10 years. Let's speak to someone, to someone who writes books, an author, a writer. Here I will say, how many books have you written? I will count the number, the production, the products. Also, how long have you been writing? I have been writing for three years. How about a chef or we're having here someone who bake uh, uh, to a baker making cakes. I will ask him about the number. How many orders have you baked? The number of orders. I have made many or thousands of orders. How long have you been baking? I have been baking for five years. Someone who's playing football to a football player. What are the questions that you want to ask him? How many goals have you scored? The number of goals. How long have you been training? 
I can also ask someone who is an English language teacher, uh, a student. How many words have you learned? The number of words. Or how long have you been studying? He has, he has been studying for maybe three to five years. How about a doctor? Let's ask him questions. How many patients have you seen? The number of patients. How long have you been working? I have been working for five years. So how many for the simple? How long for the progressive? Now let's check your workbooks on page 120. Exercise D. Majid and Gassim are shopping at the mall. Complete their conversation. Use the present perfect, simple, or the present perfect progressive. Here we're having Majid. How long work you at the restaurant? So it will be, have you been working at the restaurant? So here we will have working. We should use working. The progressive tense. Have you been working at the restaurant? Ali, I have been working for three months. Notice the time in here. I have been working for three months. How do you like it? The job is fun. I meet a lot of people, many people. I have met a lot of people. But I, let's use not, make a lot of money. I haven't made a lot of money. So I'm counting the number of money. Then how long save you your money? We're speaking about how long in here. How long have you been saving your money? For maybe three, 10 months. Ali, I saved since September. Here, since September is the time. I have been saving since September. Try you to work a lot of hours. Have you tried the number of hours, increasing the number of hours? Ali, yes. That's why I be so tired. So I have been the number of times I was, I was tired. I go to school. I have been going to school then to work, then home. Repetitive. That's all I do for the past three months. I have done for the past three months. Then Majid will reply, well, at least you not spend any money. You haven't spent any money. You're counting the number. So focus number or time, progressive, uh, 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 simple or progressive. Now let's check in your books, page 63. Here we're having a reading text. And in this reading text, I want to come to start with this question. What do you use the computer for? We're speaking about computers here. We're actually using computers for many and many things. Maybe you're trying to type using a computer. You browse the internet using a computer. You also can attend classes using your own computer. Computers are multifunctional. They do many and many things. What are the advantages and the disadvantages of the internet? We said that we log and surf the internet using our computers. Now, what are the good side about the internet? It, ke it keeps us connected with friends, with family, with anyone that we know. It makes our lives easier. Everything is going to be faster and we will stay connected. If you want any, any type of information, it will be easy for you to find it. However, everything is having a drawback, a disadvantage. What, is that? what are the disadvantages of the internet? It could be a time consuming, it wastes your time. It wastes people's time. If you are spending a lot, long hours on the, uh, on the internet. Also, it could be addictive. Some people will be addicted. They can't take, them, uh, take themselves out of it. Children cannot be left alone on the, uh, online because you never know what might happen to them. Okay, so we're speaking, sp we have spoken about the advantages and the disadvantages. Let's look into page 63 and I want you to think about the title. We're going to read about, about the computer and the internet good or bad. So, where is that text taken from? You notice the whole page, page 63, 
and you will find it like small texts. Where are they? Where is the whole text is taken from? It is actually taken from a social media platform. Any social media, someone is going to post an idea and other people will reply. I will tell what I think, you will tell what you think, and your colleagues, we will share our points of view. I like this idea, the internet. You will say, no, I don't like it, and the others will. Everyone is going to comment and add their own ideas. Okay, now let's start with them one by one. And for each one of them, you will come up with the answer. What does the writer think? The whole thing you will decide. So it is the idea of you will listen and read and you will come with your own idea. What does the writer think? Does he agree or disagree with, the, with this idea? Let's listen to the first speaker in here. Computers have become an integral part of our lives. They make day-to-day -day tasks easier and save time. Does that make us incapable of doing simple tasks without the aid of the computer? Can we still use hard copies of dictionaries or books? Can we write by hand? I think most of us can. Not having to do things in a conventional manner allows more time for thought and creativity. Okay, so here the writer is saying that we are dependent. We spend long time and we do everything using the computer and the internet. However, is this thing preventing us from thinking and learning? What do you think? What does the writer think? Actually, the writer is with, agrees that the internet is a good thing for learning and for, uh, for getting information. She said, not having to do things in a conventional manner allows more time for thought and creativity. I don't have to spell words. I don't have to write by hand. So I will have more time to be creative, to think crit critically, not do things traditionally. I will have more time for higher level of thinking. This is what the speaker said, or we will call them the writers. The second one here, he will tell us, you will listen to their point of view, and you will tell. What does the writer think? Is he with or against learning and, uh, on the internet? Let's listen. I agree that computers and the internet are valuable tools that provide access to information quickly and efficiently. On the other hand, literacy appears to be affected in more ways than one. People don't bother to learn how to spell or write by hand. They sometimes rely on the computer to correct their grammar and spelling. I know my handwriting has suffered since I started word processing. Okay, so here, what do you think the writer believe? Is she with or against learning through the internet? I guess she is against. What was her point of view? What did she say? She was against because she said, literacy appears to be affected in more ways than one. Literacy, the ability to write and the ability to read and to calculate the basic knowledge. Those people are not bothered by the idea of writing. They can't spell words because they are dependent on computers and the internet. So the basic knowledge is not there. She herself, her spelling and her handwriting was affected badly when she started using the computer and the internet. So she is against the idea of learning or using computers for learning. Let's continue with the following. And here, what does the writer think? Let's listen. Does it matter if we are not all adept at handwriting? At the end of the day, technology is here to stay. If computers can help us write, why should we write by hand? Isn't it better to invest that time on learning? So what do you think the writer, is, is she with or against learning and using the computers and internet for learning? I guess the writer here is with. What did she say? She said, why should we write by hand? Isn't it better to invest that time on learning? She's saying the internet and the computer is there to stay. It is going to stay forever with us. Why don't we invest and we will use them for our own benefit? We don't need to write by our hands. So 
we don't need to bother about the idea of writing or the basic knowledge. Let's think about things that are higher levels of thinking. Let's continue with the following in here. And what does the writer think? Let's listen. Learning is the big issue here. Does technology foster learning? Or does it provide ready data that do not promote critical thinking? And what about math? There seem to be more and more young people who are unable to calculate. They are completely dependent on computers. So, what do you think the writer? What does he believe? He believes that he is against. Against the idea of learning using the internet and computers. What did he say? He said, there seemed there, there seem to be more and more young people who are unable to calculate. So he's not thinking about the idea of handwriting. He's ha thinking about the idea of math and the basic math, adding, subscribing, and multiplying. Those people, they, don't ha they have no idea about this because they are dependent on the computer and the internet. Let's li listen to the following in here. And what does the writer think? Let's listen. The internet has contributed greatly to learning, through the wealth of information it can provide, on a wide range of topics. In addition, it has made it possible for people to study through e-learning. In other words, the internet has brought schools and universities to people, wherever they might be, provided that they are connected. So, what does the writer think or believe? Is she with or against? using the internet and computers for learning? She is actually with. What did she say? She said, the, it, the internet has brought schools and universities to people. She's speaking about the idea of I can learn or study at an oversee, um, overseas uh, university while I am at, at my own place, online learning and virtual learning. She's speaking that it, is, it had widened the ranges. So, it made our lives easier. Let's continue with the following. Here is the speaker with or against learning, the learning through computers and the internet. Our teacher says that the internet prevents us from developing our memory, an important aspect of learning. He thinks that easy access to information prevents learning, simply because we do not have to make any effort to memorize. I don't agree. Memorizing facts is not an effective way of learning. There are a lot of people who are unable to do that, yet when you talk to them or let them present a viewpoint or solve a problem, you realize they are highly intelligent and articulate. I am getting confused. Can someone help? So what do you think the writer believe? He's coming up with two ideas, what I think and what my teacher told me. The teacher is telling them, don't use the internet, if you are using the internet, you will not be able to remember things. It is always there for you, and it will remember things for you. However, the speaker himself is with the internet and the computer. So what did, he, did, did she say? She said, I don't agree. Memorizing and remembering things, facts, is not an effective way of learning. It is about the idea of thinking. It's not about the idea of remembering things. So we have to think, not to remember. Okay, we're having a, we we came up through uh, some of the new words like the word integral. What do we mean by integral? Integral is necessary to make a whole complete, essential or fundamental. It means like um, um, an integral, an important part. Oral health is an integral part of the overall health. Essential, important. Literacy. What is literacy? Literacy is the ability to read and write, the basic knowledge. So, the literacy rate there is the highest in Central America. Literacy, everyone knows to read and write. Promote, support, or actively encourage. To encourage, promote something. Good soil promotes plant growth. When the, when the soil is good, so it will promote, help it do. I try to use these words, integral, promote, and literacy. He did this to the new product, to promote. I want people to buy it. 
all the children are tested in the basic. Basic knowledge is the basic literacy. Statistics, numbers, are integral to medical research. They are important to medical research. How about you? What do you think? Which point of view is closely close to your ideas? What do you think? Do you think the internet, the computers and the internet are very important for the idea of learning? Or do you think that it is detrimental or have negative effect on learning? For me, I will say the internet is there to stay. And I will say we, we should have more time for thinking. You might say, no, children should learn using their hands, not computers or the internet. They need to memorize things, to write by, by their own hands, and to improve or promote their literacy. So it depends on personal opinion. They have told their own ideas. How about your own ideas? Now, I want you to write about yourself. How long have you been using things through the internet or the computer? How long have you been using, let's say, I have been using computers since I was five. I have been using it until today. We're using the present perfect in here, progressive. How long have you been using or writing by your hand? I have been writing by hand for 10 years. For 10 years. How long have you used the spell check, the spelling check? I have been using the spell check for three years. Notice the time, that's why we're using the ing. How long you have, uh, uh, how long have you been learning online? I have been learning online since last year. So we're having the time in here. Let's take here and we're trying to predict the future of these products. How about the, f the future of spell check? Let's say 50 years later, is there going to be spell check? Or you believe that it's going to disappear? For me, I think people will still be using spell check in 100 years or in 50 years. How about typing? Typing using the keyboard, the idea of typing. People won't be typing in the future. They will be using voice typing. They will never type by hand, they will type by voice. How about the idea of calculating math? We're having people will be using computers to calculate, to count numbers. How about e-learning, the future of e-learning? People are going to be studying online. How about you? What do you think about the future of these products? Okay. For your homework, take the exercise A on your workbooks, page 119. So your workbooks, page 119, exercise A. It's all about new vocab. Okay? I guess that is it for the lesson today. And thank you so much for your time.